In the new documentary, Meddling, Tara Lipinski is giving us a glimpse into a side of skating we seldom get to see, all revolving around an infamous winter scandal. Take a look. We won the Olympics. That's what I thought. How did that happen? They won that run. It's the French judge. It's the French judge. She was pressured to vote for that Russians. It was shocking. I was falsely accused. I did not cheat in Salt Lake City. And Tara is with me now. Tara, good to see you. How are you in all this craziness? I'm doing well. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I loved watching this, this docuseries. It is fascinating to me. You executive produced this. Why was this the story that you wanted to tell? Well, I'll tell you how it came to life. My husband is a sports doc director, and I get to see firsthand his work, and I know how talented he is. So we had talked for many, many years of how much fun would it be to work together, combine our talents? So over COVID, there was a lot of time to figure out yep. what we wanted to do next. And I think over a glass of wine, we said, let's start a production company and see what we can do. And of course, I had to, to do a figure skating project first. Yeah, I mean, you watch figure skating and you think, oh, wow, this is just such a beautiful sport. It's so elegant. There's so much athleticism, obviously, involved in it. But there's a really a darker side behind a lot of the stuff that goes on that we don't get to see. And like you said, there was no deep dive into this scandal from 2002. How did you even start the process of kind of reexamining this infamous event? Well, we definitely wanted to get everyone a part of it. We wanted the audience at home to hear everyone's stories because there's a lot of different stories stories that people have when they look back on this. And I thought it was also interesting to hear their perspective 20 years later. Yeah. But you mentioned dark times. Yes, I would say that figure skating, this was a dark time for figure skating during this era of our sport. You know, the judging was subjective. It's always going to be a little subjective since we yeah. don't have a finish line, since we don't have a clock. Yeah. It's going to have some opinion as part of the judging. Yeah. Well, this year's Winter Olympics, I mean, they're right around the corner. I can't even believe that they're here already. You've been a broadcaster for NBC. Uh, you were just at the 2022 um, U.S. Figure Skating Championships. Who should we be watching out for? Who should we have our eyes on? You definitely need to watch out for Nathan Chen. He is the heavy favorite to win the gold medal in China. And then you have the women's event, which... I'm a little biased. I love that event for some reason. But, yeah. um, you have three Russians that may sweep. Well, and, and since it's like three weeks away or a few weeks away, I forget what number we're at. What do you think's going through everyone's minds right now? How do you think they're feeling? Uh, nervous. Yeah. You can never really prepare for an Olympic Games. You go to a national championship and a world championships. You know what to expect. And I just remember when I went to the Olympics, I was overwhelmed. Yeah. Well, it's not only fun to watch, to listen to you and Johnny, but obviously we know that you bring it with the fashion. And I'm so curious, like, <laughs> do you guys pack and plan outfits together? And how long does it take to pack? And how much do you bring? <laughs> I'm dreading the packing process, which is going to start very soon. We, we both bring many, many suitcases. And the reason why is not only are we on the air a lot and constantly changing, but we also try to match how much fun, though, too. I mean, and speaking of fashion, you guys just did um, Project Runway together. What was that experience like? The best experience. I will always remember that. It was so much fun. I grew up watching that show. I love Project Runway. And then being part of the challenge was just super exciting. And we're actually going to wear yeah. um, those outfits, the winner's outfits, in the pairs event. Getting to go to the Olympics <laughs> one more time and getting to cover it. Um, has to be a thrilling event. I can't wait to watch you guys, to listen to you guys. I can't wait to watch the Olympics. This docuseries is so amazing. I encourage everyone to watch this as well. And you can catch meddling on Peacock now. Tara, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you.